Yo guys, what's going on? Matt here and welcome to week number 5 of my Oakland Raiders Connected Franchise Mode here on Madden 16 where the Oakland Raiders return home to face the Denver Broncos. Obviously, all of the odds are against us this week. Really not expecting to win. Obviously, if we could, that'd be great as our record is 2-2 two two right now, looking to improve it to 3-2. and two, But like I said, most likely won't win this game. We're really just looking to keep it close. This is a, this is a Raiders team on the upside and... They really want to go ahead and try to do something here, but again, not looking for them to win. Obviously, that would be great, but if we lose, I just don't want to get it blown out. I just want to keep it close. So here we go in Oakland. Peyton Manning's in town, and he has a pretty good stat sheet here through four weeks. Only two interceptions, five touchdowns, and over 1,100 yards with just about a 60% completion percentage. So here he goes, finding Latimer on the first play, gaining six. Second and four now at the 26, and he's running right into Justin Tuck, loses some yards. Third and ten now for Manning. He throws it up the middle, and it is caught by Wilson. So the Raiders, just like last game, aren't able to stop their opposing team on third down, and we really need to fix that today. So, first and 10 for Manning at the 48-yard line. He throws it over, and that is nearly intercepted. Second and 10 now. Manning throwing it over to Demarius Thomas, his top wide receiver, and he'll get to the 49-yard line. Third and 7 now, throwing it over to Demarius Thomas again, and just like the last third down, they convert, and they are down to the 40-yard line with a first down. First and 10 now, Manning hands it off here to Anderson, and CJ Anderson's not going to do anything. He loses a yard, second and 11 now, throwing it over to Thomas again. Couple of receptions for him early on. He'll get a couple yards, third and seven now for Manning at the 37 yard line. He waits, throws it over, and Anderson is tackled. So finally, the Raiders get that stop there, and they will force the Denver Broncos to settle for a field goal. So they're at the 32 yard line, here is the kick, and it is through the uprights, and it is good. So the Broncos take the 3-0 lead here in the first quarter at Oakland, and they put the first points on the board total between the two teams. So here comes Derek Carr leading the Raiders out on the field, four interceptions through four weeks. He really needs to work on that. Really, our, our running game has been very good with Latavius Murray. We just need to get our passing game going. Maybe try to target Amari Cooper a little more. We'll try to do that this game. That being said, I'm not going to go out of my way to do so, but uh, we will see. And through the first three passes here um, and a run, we're not going to be able to do anything, and it's going to be fourth and five. So we're going to have to punt the ball right back to Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos. They already got three, looking for more. He's going downfield, and that is nearly intercepted. Second and ten now. Anderson gets the ball, and he is tackled immediately, losing two yards. Third and 12 now for the Broncos. Manning waiting, finds Anderson, but he is taken down, and that is going to be a punt for the Denver Broncos. Nice job by the Raiders' defense, stopping the Broncos on back-to-back -back third downs. First and 10 now. Carr hands it off to Murray, who will try to go to the right, but he is tackled immediately, and there is no gain there. And that is almost an interception for Derek Carr. Third and 10 now at the 31-yard line. Carr waiting for someone to get open. He finds Michael Crabtree, and that is exactly 10 yards for a first down. So Derek Carr gets his first uh, completed pass of the day, and we are moving the chains. 41-yard line we are at. Latavius Murray has the ball, and he's punching it six yards. Second and four now, giving it off to Murray. He's not going anywhere. Third and six, Carr looking. Pocket collapses, and he almost throws that right into the Denver Broncos defender's arms there and unfortunately we're going to have to punt as Amari Cooper showing some emotion pretty sure that's not realistic because he's probably one of the most quietest most humble wide receivers you will ever meet but anyways that happened second and inches now Broncos don't get the first down on the last play but they will on this play as Anderson has three rushes and a first down now and they are at the 33 yard line second quarter starts Manning out of the snap doesn't get sacked throws it over to his right finds Emmanuel Sanders and that is seven yards second and third now Anderson gets tackled immediately third and seven at the 36 Manning in the pocket and is that a catch no Almost intercepted, almost caught, almost a lot of things, but in the end, Lofton can't catch it, and the Raiders are going to get the ball back on a punt as it's fourth and seven. So Murray trying to go up the middle, and nothing will happen. He'll gain a yard. Second and nine now, giving it to him again. A nice juke move. He'll get pushed forward across the first down marker, but this is bad news for the Oakland Raider fans. 
Latavius Murray is down with an injury, and he is not going to return for the rest of the game, which means Roy Hallou Jr. will take on the starting running back duty for the rest of the game. So he gets a completion there, and now it's third and four after a sack, or almost a sack from Derek Carr. Throwing it over to his right, and that is an interception, and this is going to be a pick six. Wow. What a play. I believe I said he threw that to his right. He threw it to his left. Either way, it's intercepted, and the Broncos put seven on the board. It's now 10-0 Denver. So Carr has a chance to do something, but uh, he hasn't looked too good at this game, and his offensive line isn't giving him much help. He loses a bunch of yards there with the sack. Third and 19, he is going to try to find Michael Rivera, but he drops it, so they're going to have to punt it off a game. Again, this is really a... Not so good game for Derek Carr and the Raiders offense. The Broncos are just owning him on defense. And here is CJ Anderson getting eight. Second and two now going to Anderson again is Manning. And Anderson has himself another first down. Down to the 29-yard line. And here come the Denver Broncos. Six rushes and only 10 yards for Anderson. But he's getting a lot of first downs. Manning now play action is throwing it down the field. And what a catch by Demarius Thomas. That puts Peyton Manning at 10 receptions and over 100 yards, but that was an incredible catch. Gets him to the three yard line. CJ Anderson can't punch it in. Second and goal at the five, handing it off to Monte Ball, and he is not going in. Third and goal now, Manning throwing it over, and Demarius Thomas has a touchdown. He gets the nice pass and then gets the touchdown, and it is 17-0 Denver here in Oakland. They are absolutely crushing the Raiders. This is what I didn't want to happen and we are gonna have to fight back. So here is our new starting running back for the rest of the game, Roy Hallou Jr., and he will get a first down here. He had a lot of first downs last game, but we're gonna need some more of those this game as he'll get one there with three minutes left in the half, and it is first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Carr waiting, he'll find Amari Cooper, who will fight his way down to the 39-yard line. Second and three now for Carr. Waiting, throwing downfield for Michael Crabtree, and he can't come up with the catch. Third and three now. Two minutes left, right before the two-minute warning, and Roy Hallou Jr. is going to get the first down before he gets tackled at the 46-yard line. So, first and 10 for the Raiders, two minutes left. Two-minute offense gets in the zone, and we will go. Not a good completion the time before, but here's a good completion right here. Michael Rivera gets the first down off of a second and 14, and we're at the 41-yard line. Derek Carr waiting for someone to get open, and he finds a open Michael Rivera who fumbles the ball, and the Broncos recover. They rule it a fumble, although it may be reviewed here as Rivera's knee may have touched the ground before it went down, and this could be huge for the Raiders if they can get this overturned. It was ruled a fumble, but I believe Rivera's knee was down just before, yup, right there. It actually kind of caused the ball to come out. So it is going to be reversed. It is going to be an Oakland Raider ball, which is a huge break. That would have been a just an absolute crusher there if the Broncos took over. Sakar going over to Michael Crabtree, and he is just a yard short of the touchdown. First and goal now, handing it off to Halu Jr., and he is in for the touchdowns. So the Raiders answer and get lucky there on that call. Put up seven on the board before halftime, and we will go into halftime with the Denver Broncos up 17-7. So it's a little better than now that the Raiders are only down by 10, but... Um, Geez, you take out that last touchdown, and we are down by 17 going in to the second half. That is not good. So we really have to improve our play offensively. If we can do that, a lot of things will be better. Latavius Murray's out. We're going to have to rely on Roy Hallou Jr., but we will work on that in the second half. All right, we are in the second half, and Derek Carr and the Raiders get the ball first. First and 10, throws it over to Michael Crabtree. That is a nice start. First down for Crabtree, Derek Carr's seventh reception. 92 yards on the day, and we are at the 34-yard line. Carr hands it off to Hallou Jr., who will go up the middle and be a yard short of the first down. Play act, no read option here for Derek Carr, and he's going to get the first down. He gets hit pretty hard, but he's a tough guy as he rushed there four or five yards, and that's a first down for the Oakland Raiders at the 47. This is a handoff now to Roy Hallou Jr. He gets six yards. Second and four now, Carr. Finds, no, that is almost intercepted there. A dangerous pass. Third and four now for Carr. Looking for someone open, and he is going to throw that ball away just before he gets sacked. But that is going to bring up a fourth and four for the Raiders, and they are going to have to punt. So not good here for Derek Carr. 
Almost like that two minute offense worked in the last time. But here comes Demarius Thomas with the huge catch. Gets around the defenders. Going down the field at the 10. Touchdown Broncos. Just as I was saying, they had a good two minute offense. The Raiders did. The Broncos come right back. And Peyton Manning says, yeah, I'm one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. That's how you do it. And now they are up by a lot. So we're going to target Derek, or Derek Carr. Derek Carr is going to target Amari Cooper here for a nice catch. 22 yards on the day for Cooper. But um, the Raiders are finding themselves uh, not in that great of a position. They're down by 17, under six minutes left in the game. And here is a third and six for Derek Carr. Stepping back, throwing deep, but that is way overthrown. Targeting Amari Cooper. And that is Derek Carr's fault as he cannot aim downfield. And that is thrown out of bounds. And the Raiders will have to punt. The Broncos have another chance to put points on the board. And here comes Peyton Manning. Second and five. Hands it off to Anderson. Who will spin and roll his way in past the first down marker. For a first down as we are five minutes into this third quarter. Peyton Manning going downfield. Finds a Demarius Thomas. And that is a very good catch once again. Peyton Manning, 14 for 17, over 200 yards. And Demarius Thomas with two very nice catches and a touchdown on the day. Peyton Manning, first and 10 at the 47. Four minutes left in the third. He's going to run to his left. There is a flag on the play. A nice trickery play by Manning to find Wilson on the right side. That's going to be a first down. However, it is going to be a penalty, a holding penalty on the Broncos. So as a result, that is going to get called back as we accept it, and it is going to be first and 20. So, 43 yard line they are at, and here is Emmanuel Sanders getting a reception, and he'll get three. Second and 17 now, get a few more, third and 11. Peyton Manning looking, and he's just gonna throw that one away just to play it safe, and Derek Carr will take over. We need some points. And there is Roy Hallou Jr. just almost getting the first down, and now he will with a nice uh, couple of rushes there, and he's still fighting. Look at Roy Hallou Jr. go. Stepping up big time in absence of Latavius Murray. So this year our strength really has been the running game. I'll talk about that next episode with the bye week. But here comes Roy Hallou Jr. getting some more yards as the third quarter is coming to a close. Derek Carr going deep, looking for Amari Cooper. And that is a bad pass by Derek Carr. Harris Jr. gets the interception. And unlike the fumble to Rivera, that is not going to get reversed. That is an interception. The fifth interception... By, actually, no, the sixth interception by Derek Carr on the year through five weeks as he had a pick six earlier. So third and seven for Peyton Manning and the Broncos. C.J. Anderson gets a good pickup, but he's not going to get enough for the first down as we are just about nine minutes left until the game is over. First and ten now for Derek Carr. They need some points. I keep saying that, but we really just need to not get blown out. If we can just get some points here, we'll be down. Well, if we get a field goal, we'll be down by... 14, and if we get a touchdown, we'll be down by 10. Look at that. That was crazy. Amari Cooper battling for the extra yards, and he is getting a first down. First and 10 now. Derek Carr overthrows Michael Crabtree. Second and 10 now at the 45. Play action rolling to his right. Throws it over, and he finds Rod Streeter for the first time today. And Rod is finally brought down across midfield at the 38-yard line. Nice job there by Streeter getting open and a nice job by Derek Carr with an accurate throw to Streeter. Lou now rushing forward for two. Second and eight now, Carr out of the snap. Goes back, waits, and he'll just throw it away now just to be safe. Third and eight now, play action, still waiting. And there's Roy Hallou Jr. He's open, he has the first down, and he is going to get finally tackled at the 24 yard line. And that is Derek Carr's 11th reception. He has over 150 yards on the day, which is good to see. He hasn't had that the last couple of weeks. But without some uh, of his, well, his starting running back, Latavius Murray, he's going to need to pass some more. There's a pass to Marcel Reese. Haven't seen him much, but we're working him in. And here's Andre Holmes fighting for the touchdown, and he has it. A bad tackle there by the Broncos defender, and Andre Holmes is into the touchdown, or the end zone for the touchdown. And that will put the Raiders only 10 points behind the Broncos as Peyton Manning goes deep. And that play is broken up. A nice job there. And that will be a hold again on the Broncos. So that will get called back. And it will be first and 20. Raiders down by 10. Need a stop here if they want to make it a little closer with under 5 minutes to go in the game. Manning hands it off to Anderson. He will roll for about four, third and 13 for the Broncos. Manning going deep, and that is intercepted by TJ Carey. 
What a nice play by TJ to get around the defender, put his arms up and make the catch, and the Raiders are down by 10, and if they get a touchdown, they will only be down by three. A little bit of a late comeback here as Michael Crabtree gets the Raiders to the 41-yard line. A nice play there, a nice pass from Derek Carr, and there is a first down. Derek Carr hikes it, hands it off to Halu Jr., who will get some yards, and it will be second and seven. Derek Carr waiting, throws it over, and that is almost intercepted. That could have ended the game. Two minutes left now as Derek Carr will go over to Amari Cooper, finding him a little more. And as we reach the two-minute warning, Amari Cooper will get another first down, and we are at the 27-yard line. Derek Carr out of the snap, looking, still looking, throws it downfield, and he finds Amari Cooper, who is tackled at the 10-yard line for yet another first down. We're close to the end zone. Play action here. Throwing it down, and that is again overthrow. Looking for Rivera, second and 10 now at the 10. Carr, pocket, giving him some time, throws it over, and Amari Cooper can't make the outstanding catch. Third and 10 for the Raiders. Carr, looking, throws it over, and that is going to be Lee Smith, the third string tight end, getting the catch, but uh, actually, I think they might have ruled that out of bounds. No, they, he got one He got one yard. They just didn't count it. Anyways, Raiders will have to settle for a field goal, which is fine because they needed a field goal and a touchdown. So they are down 24-17 now, and they're going to have to do the onside kick. Janikowski maybe put a little bit too much into this. He gets the 10 yards, but nevertheless, the Denver Broncos recover, and that is going to ice the game as even if we use our timeouts, they get a few first downs. And at the end of all of this, the Raiders make it close. But in the end, they lose by a touchdown. 24-17, your final score here in Oakland. As the Raiders are now a 2-3 and three team through five weeks. Coach Jack Del Rio, a little bit happier with that record compared to their record last year. But um, honestly, he expects more out of this team and so do I. Not saying they should have won this game, but uh, Derek Carr really didn't have the best week with two interceptions. So again, your final score, 24-17. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next episode is week number six, which is a bye week, so there's no gameplay. It's just going over how the league looks through six weeks. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave that like. I'll see you in the next episode, and as always, peace.